Now there's a problem. Our player goes straight through the wall. We have to make it collide with it. So let's learn about collision detection. Game physics is a great topic on its own. So we will learn the introduction to collision detection so we can start making our game actually work. The basic idea is we want to move the player to here, but we need to know if that move is valid or not. So we have the player position as well as the player half size. We also have the size of the arena. So all I have to do is to see if the player position plus its half size, which is this point, is greater than the arena. That simple. This collision detection is a 1D collision because it only considers one axis. Let's program that. I just make the arena half size a variable. If the player P plus the half size, and I'm going to add that as a variable, is greater than the arena Y, we are colliding. What will we do when we collide? First, we need to move the player back, so it's not colliding with the wall anymore. All I have to do is to set the P to the arena minus the player half size. That will move it back to the limit. We need to also change the velocity, because we abruptly stop the player. Now let's see the result. Awesome, right? We can also set the velocity to different values, like inverting it, so the player will bounce in the opposite direction. Pretty cool. We can also make that value larger, so the player is repelled from the wall. <laughs> yeah. I think the best thing to do in this case is just to set it to zero. Now let's do that to the other wall. It'll be the same thing, but inverted. And to the other player as well. Great, our plays are done. Now let's move the ball. For the ball, I'm not going to add an acceleration because it makes it harder to predict. So the ball will just linearly float around the arena, not losing or gaining much energy. But I will set an initial velocity. And add the position equation with the first derivative. And that's moving all right, but not colliding. So for the ball, we'll have to do a more complicated collision, one that will consider both shapes' sizes and the x and y axes. This shape is called an AABB, which stands for Axis Aligned Bounding Box. It's simply a box that is not rotated, it's aligned to the coordinate axes. So we want to test an AABB versus an AABB collision. It's the same idea we did last time. If the rightmost point of this guy is greater than the leftmost point of this guy, we have a collision, but we should also have to consider the other axes. See? So this has to be done in all four directions. Let's jump to the code and it'll be clear. Let's first add a collision with the ball's right side. So ball P plus the ball half size, and I'll make a variable out of that as well. With the player's left side. When we are colliding, I'll set the ball P to the limit position like we did before and invert the x velocity. So now it'll move the other way. Great! But if I move the paddle out of the way, see that it's still colliding? We have to test the other directions as well. So it'll only be colliding if you are penetrating the positive x, the negative x, the positive y, and the negative y. Let's see. Perfect! That's an AABB versus AABB collision. 